Hello, this is the next demo. So let's open the file. For example, this one. Yeah, you know that's still the unsolved structure. So we again just use shell xt to solve it. We have to wait some seconds. <laughs> and here we have several solutions um, so we take the first one that is A so this one should it be so you see this is some titanium complex with uh, CP star molecules and some fluorine atoms and some THF over here and you see here in grey this thing is uh, with symmetry so if I click on fuse um, only part of the molecule is there okay so I just can use the automatic labeling functionality so this is done um, and here this is THF so there is some atom which is in should be an oxygen atom and uh, some of them are carbons and their symmetry so this is uh, a disordered molecule on a special position um, so this uh, thing how to deal with that um, so we see those uh, two molecules have been put into two residues. So this is the main molecule in residue 1. And in residue 2 there is this THF molecule. So um, there's no a feature, maybe you don't know it yet, so you can just hide everything else then the selected part so you can just have the view on one of those uh, residues or the other one um, so when there's a button for show everything which is hidden before so let's see we find it isotropically so we see this atom here is somehow a strange density so maybe it's not in the plane as it uh, is uh, shown so maybe it's only partial uh, uh, on that side um, so and we see this is called C1 and it's only half occupied because it's on a special position um, first thing I would like to do is to put that into a part and as it is on a special position it should be on a negative part number and the whole thing should be only half occupied so we put that 10.5 instead of 11 to fix that on a partial occupancy you see now we have this ghost atom which is only there for you to demonstrate that there is a symmetry part and um, I want to have this position instead so I just copy the coordinates of Q1 and paste them here 
for that. So, like this. And as this is uh, partially occupied, we need the other part to be in that part minus one thing. So, I like to say here we want to copy that thing over here and this I like to copy here so now we have the asymmetric unit a complete molecule and let's home that thing so maybe hide other parts so and I think this has the highest density so maybe we change that into an oxygen show all so like this and see if that works so we just refine and looks like it's not too bad um, okay um, so let's grow that again so we see the other part so probably this thing looks a bit too flat, so maybe we change those exigence a bit so that we have this envelope shape of that molecule like this and mm, I'm not sure about if I like that numbering as it is so probably I go here into rename mode so we are here in part minus one and residue two so that's fine um, and if I click here on C on carbons so we have this so probably I check this off this normally uh, allows you not to have uh, s identical uh, names there so in this case I just want to have this as C1 and this is my new C2 and this C3 and now you see it's getting red because there is a C4 already there so so now it is as I want that thing so to exit rename mode you can just exit it over here or you can again click here on the rename button if you don't see the rename window you shouldn't be in rename and only rename atoms just change the name when you click on them so you see they are in this nice order now so what else so maybe um, we could try to refine everything anisotropically uh, it didn't work out that well because our atoms are too close so for that there is uh, an option so we just click two atoms and say we want to have a constraint and in this case they sh should share the same ADP like this and the same goes with those two so we just add the constraint ADP 
which is then written here and with that they behave a bit better and we see we have also electron density for hydrogens um, almost everywhere so we could try to put the hydrogens automatically like this so you see we have those uh, tw 24 peaks on each uh, methyl group it's just to test where is the highest density and there will be the position of the hydrogens finally so those are just for you for information and we can just click now on refine and as you can see this isn't that bad I think yeah it seems to be that there is a bit less density so we could do another thing we could just use a free variable so let's take 20.5 and we have to introduce that free variable over here we had could have done this also in the rename mode so we just say this is 90% 99% uh, occupied so let's see if we refine that so it's 91% so now this is uh, the red features are gone here and um, yeah so this uh, seems to be placed quite well so also with the symmetry looks not too bad um, so let's try if we have some extinction we have to fix so seems to be there is some value that seems to improve a bit of the density and now we finalize that thing with the finding the weighting scheme this time it takes some seconds and finally it did converge after 10 runs and so now this is I think a uh, finished thing so we could have done the refinement also with uh, of the of this disorder part with DSR but uh, in this case the THF molecule with an oxygen at that position isn't in the database so far as I know um, so as you can see we have here our hydrogens a bit uh, larger as you are used to that's because those hydrogen atoms have uh, ADPs so you can change that behavior just here in the edit atom parameters or at atom style dialog you just save for each atom type you don't want to see the ADP um, you can just click here and if you don't want to know the label you also can remove that labels and if you do that so this maybe looks more used for you so this was that uh, thing with uh, part minus one I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for listening goodbye